All right, we're going, uh, today is March 26, 2011. 20 years ago today, there was a tornado tore through this part of western Reno County, just to the west of Hutchinson. Uh, we are going northbound on Wilson Road, where the tornado crossed pretty much right in this area. Um, as you can tell, homes have been rebuilt since then. Uh, once again, it's been 20 years ago since a tornado tore through this part of the area. And we're going to do a little uh, drive-through of Willowbrook um, and see what has um, been done out here in this community since the tornado that went through here 20 years ago. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, turn on to uh, Willowbrook Road, officially is what it's called. Uh, we are getting ready to cross the uh, Cow Creek, isn't that correct? Yes. And so we're uh, entering the community of Willowbrook. A lot of changes actually have taken place since the tornado back in 1991. Um, the tornado pretty much came across over in this area here and they've done a lot of rebuilding out here. Yeah, these are these have uh, these actually are new homes since the uh, tornado. These weren't originally here. It used to be a lot of grass in this area here. Law used to live there. McDonald's lived right there. That's an addition. An additional in the house. Yeah. Winchester lived. So their house was hit by the tornado? That one. That one here? Yeah. And Welch. Was was that one hit? Yes. yes. I'm pointing to the ones okay. that got hit. And the That's ones that you can remember who. Yes. And that one was hit. That's the main house. That's the main house. That one didn't get hit. No. I remember, yeah, I remember this house from the years when grandfather was doing lawns and stuff that out here. Was Yeah, so far these houses here were ones that remained from the tornado that did not have any damage. It's okay. Cooper Tire Guy lives there. Yeah. That used to be Anime Johnston's. Looks like big KU fans there now. That one was hit. It was? Part of it. Maybe. I don't know. I, think th I don't think this one had any damage. I think more of the ones here in the middle had had some of the Boys, damage. I don't think got hit. That was Anime Jones, uh, Wiley's. And the siren was in between these two houses here. Yeah, because this the, the house that was here at one time was hit by the tornado. Yeah. And at one time, there used to be a tornado siren or a siren of some sort. Right on that pole. Right on that pole or pole that used to be right at that location. But there was a siren at one time out here before the tornado. And it actually was here after the tornado. Then they installed a newer uh, siren. Chalifant used to live there. Wasn't this a house that got hit? No. No. No, no just know, where that red house was yeah. that we just that drove by. Okay. Yeah, these houses right in here were, were, you know, didn't get hit by the tornado. These last two here on the end were built after the tornado. These weren't originally here. This used to be part of grass and part of the golf course, if I wasn't mistaken. Actually, I think there used to be a T right here on this little, uh, little corner right here where this house uh, was built. My grandfather, Charlie Willis, was a caretaker out here, retired back in 1974, is that correct? Yeah. This is one of their golf course, part of their golf course that they have out here in that Willowbrook. Used to be all apple trees. And a lot of those trees got damaged or destroyed uh, by the tornado. None of these houses over here, if I'm not mistaken, did not get hit by the tornado. Pretty much uh, the path of the tornado came through where that house is right there and came across the back half of uh, Willowbrook. And this is the tornado siren that they've installed since the tornado. And if I'm not mistaken, it's connected to the Hutchinson uh, siren network. 
This house here did not get any damage. I remember that one on the corner there. The, no, no, it got partly hit because their dogs was killed. Well, I don't remember Morrison. seeing any. I don't remember seeing any damage on this house because this house kind of looks the same. Oh, this is new. And my mother grew up out here in Willowbrook, so she's kind of helping me out with some names of some people that That's used to new. live. Yeah, this is a newer, newer house. Kind of the tornado kind of came in through this area right here. Now that house back there is the one that went right through the middle of their home. Yeah, that. That's Jake Carey. Yeah, the, the, I remember seeing damage of that house. The middle part of that was damaged from the tornado. Both uh, west and east side of the house was there, but the middle was, but was pretty strange. much uh, taken care of. It, it, it did not hit this house here. But it did that one. That used to be but it, uh, uh, Dr. Bora's house. Yeah, I remember this one had some damage yeah. to it. Because wasn't there like little three nodules at the top of this house? Who? Like a like on the chimney of this? Wasn't there a, just a structure no, like on a chimney? No, that was where uh, Hobart lives. Bo uh, Hobart. Oh, there. This is the house house. Okay, this one's got the. Well, see, you know, has the two little things on the top of it. Yeah, that's Tom's. There's where I live. And mom grew up in this house here. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, that's the house that they built for my dad. Long, yeah. long time ago. This is, <laughs> this is, yeah, this is new since the tornado. I remember grandfather doing a lot of uh, lawn work and and watching this house here, because I remember. Yeah, that used to be William, uh, William Carey's house. One of the original carries. Yeah, cause I remember the green over here and the little lake right here. And they have a fountain that goes. Long, long time ago, this used to be a gravel road. It's paved since then. I remember riding my bike on the gravel road out here while grandfather was doing lawns and, and stuff. Grandfather was Charlie Willis, if I haven't mentioned that already on the video. Now these houses here were not hurt. Yeah, these houses here did not get touched by the tornado so there was uh, no damage on this side of the it did back behind the caretaker's house it took the, the garage Parker's used to live there yeah he passed away in 2006 according to the newspaper article yeah. that was in today's paper so that is a spin through the community of Willowbrook 20 years ago today, once again, a tornado went through this uh, community. Nobody was killed in this tornado.